Hi everyone, Ronaldo Offman of Master School Dances. I want to show you the super cool new feature that I've been playing around with with CompuShow. Now, as you know, one of the things I love about CompuShow is that I can grab, you know, my fixtures on the fly. Like here's all my floods, and I can quickly choose a color. Now, this is perfect for weddings, of course, you know, or an event where I need to quickly grab a color and I can macro it if I need to recall that color later on. Of course, I have you know some pre-made scenes which I'm in the middle of working on. You know, for example, let's uh, shut that off. Uh, let's see. There we go. You can see some of the scenes that I've already, you know, worked on where it's changing from blue to yellow. Or, of course, you know, some really cool chases. Like here's one called the Knight Rider Chase. And it actually chases back and forth. The only thing is that when you're doing weddings, especially if you're going to be doing higher end lighting design, you want to match their colors perfectly. And the problem with that is then that means that a lot of these shows, you know, yeah, you can use them when the dance floor goes on, but what about if you want to create custom, you know, light shows for their colors? Now, you know that a lot of times when you're doing that, it can take a lot of time, you know, to create a nice light show. And it can be somewhat of a pain in the butt when you have to do it again and again, wedding after wedding after wedding. Well, uh, James got me into looking into palettes, showed me how to do it. I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. This solves this because palettes are basically a placement it's a, a placeholder if you'd say so let me show you how this works okay let's go ahead and uh, go to external windows and we're gonna click on palette oh okay now, I've already made generic palettes generic palettes means that they'll pick up you know the RGB fixers will pick them up you'll notice there again how they're changing color etc okay uh, so let's say for example we're gonna go into you know color one let's say the bride's color is like a purple lavender right and the second color is going to be white. All right, so color one, purple lavender, color two, white. Pretty simple. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and make a new show. So we're gonna real quick make a, uh, a scene. We're gonna go to button, we're gonna do scene. Now I wanna put this into what I call my theme shows. Now you'll notice I'm in the middle of actually making uh, or remaking all my shows and everything. We're going to have it empty. Now, I don't want this to control my NOs. I just want this to control my floods. I'm going to click my flood grouping. I'm going to go into easy time. Easy time basically generates programs for you, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go into, uh, actually, before we do that, let's just go ahead. I'm going to go by my groups. I have my QWHs. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the dimmer all the way up. Shutter, I want it to be open. The next one are the PAR 64s, I want the shutter open. And the dimmer intensity at 255. The Mega 24s, I want my shutter. Oh, that's right, shutter on this one's a little bit different. So dimmer all the way on. And the Mega Tripar profiles again, shutter all the way on. And dimmer, ah, I don't need to set the level, but okay, 255. Why are you not doing it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have that. Now let's go ahead and drop in a color here into Easy Time. And uh, let's say that we're going to do just something simple. We're going to do the Knight Rider Chase, which is a lot of fun. We're going to take the palette, okay, and we're going to choose color one, and we're going to take the second color and do color two. Super easy. We click OK. Now, of course, I want to make sure these are, in, you know, that actually goes in order for the floods. Let's say these floods are up lights, okay? That I'm not going to use them as floods, I'm going to use them as up lighting. So uh, let's go, actually, wrong one. Let's go ahead and click on edit, right click here. And in the order, I want it to go in, uh, you can make fixture orders. So I'm going to go ahead and make it into the floods. And these are orders I made ahead of time. And as I hit play, you'll notice it shows that basically it's going to move the lights in order, which I've already laid them out. Okay, beautiful. We're going to go ahead and save that show. Let's say I make quite a few of these shows with color one and color two according to the palettes. When I click it, you'll notice how, again, the, it's going back and forth between pink and white. Okay? And it, it's beautiful, you know? You're going to be, you know, you can create tons of cool shows with the pink and white. But then the next day, you have a wedding where it's also pink and white. But the bride wants it to be like a light pink, a really light pink color. Almost like, uh, let's go over here to mixing. Almost like that kind of light pink. 
And let's say you had 20 different shows that you made specifically for weddings, for uplighting, you know, to match their wedding colors. You're like, oh man, I got to reprogram all these again. Wrong. Let's go back to our palette. So we're going to go again to controller. We're going to go to external window. We're going to go to palette. Okay. Remember color, color two is the white and color, oops, color two is the white. Color one is the purple, lavender. We're going to go ahead and change it to a light pink color. And that's it. We save it. So now what happens when I, you know, when I turn it back on, look at that. It automatically switched the colors on here. Now these are not going to switch it. Why? Because these are specifically made, you know, these are programmed with colors into the actual show. Like if you look here, okay, uh, let's choose one there. These were not done with the palette. See, if I want to do palette colors, uh, I can actually, oh, excuse me, I can go here into the colors and palettes and all that. Oh, there's a palette here. I can go into the uh, palettes and drag them there. But I didn't. I actually made them out of, you know, regular, typical programming. So the palettes don't affect these at all. But these I'm going to specifically make for theme shows. So you see how it's already changing. Now, let's say the next day I have another wedding. Or here, let's go and make another program. Uh, let's go to page. Let's go to new scene, empty, and we're going to put it in the theme shows, and we're going to call it transition. But this time, we're not going to use easy step. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, you know, turn on the individual channels here. I'm not going to worry about turning on RGB at the moment. We're just going to do strobe on, and then dimmer all the way up. I'm just going to do it for the individual groups that I have. Now, there are easier ways of doing this, but again, I'm just doing this so you guys can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. If this is confusing you, you are in the wrong video, and you should start much earlier in my playlist, assuming you're looking at this on YouTube. Now, of course, uh, we, we have step one, right? So I'm going to take the palette, which is color one, and you should actually be able to click on control but for some reason it's not, and drag it, but for some reason it's not wanting to do that, probably because I'm running on parallels. Not a big deal, because I have four QWH5s, but doing this pretty much controls all of them. And I'll do that with the PAR 64s. And now we're going to go into step two, and we are going to do the same thing. So, step two. Uh, yes, I would like to confirm all those. Okay. So now step one. Now step two is going to be... Okay, so we're pretty much done, and if you notice, we hit play, it just kind of jumps in there. I want to go ahead and at least affect the change time to about two seconds, okay, with the whole time at two seconds. You can also right cl or click on the little clock up there and change it globally. And now you'll notice that it's slowly moving from white to pink. And I'm not sure what's going on here, why it's showing up like that, but all the colors, you know, the Mega 24s, the 64s, the QWHs, everything's set that way. Let's go ahead and save it. Now the transition show is done. If I need to speed it up, of course, I can speed it up over here. Okay, and you'll see how it's changing. So I also have the little Knight Rider transition that I made. Okay, but what the, the problem with that is that when your next wedding changes colors, you got to reprogram all this again. Let's say they have a color combination you haven't made yet. 
Oh, no. Okay, well, that's why I have these buttons made specifically over here. Because we're going to go back to the external windows, and we're going to hit palette. And let's say the next wedding colors are, oh, I don't know. Let's do something really obvious. Let's do baby blue and green, which are just interesting colors together, but really obvious that way. So we're going to go ahead and save out of there. Now look what happens. It automatically updated these shows that used the palette. So now it's from baby blue to green for like the Knight Rider or the transition show that I made. Now how cool is that? Let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and actually let's uh, let's kind of squeeze that over for a second. Let's go to right click on the transition group. Oops. Ah. Got a shift click. And because I'm recording the screen, it's, of course, going to act up on me, right? Okay. There we go. Settings. And I want to go ahead and do the fixture order as the floods. I wanted to make sure that it flashes the colors in the, the, in the individual show. Why? Because as I phase... Oops, not 19%. Let's take it down. Look what happens now. Now they're slowly going or changing in the actual order of the show. So again, you settings here. I want to fix your order floods. So as you phase it, you can actually affect the order they change in, which is again perfect for uplighting or double click and just have them change in transition. If you want to speed it up, you can. If you want to do a nice slow fade, you can do that too. Again, let's say again, the wedding next week changes their colors to blue and red. Super Mario. <laughs> All right, now what happens? Now you have your blue and red. Oh, no, it's the wrong type of blue. It was supposed to be a baby blue. No, or being dark blue, royal. No problem. And voila. You'll see the mega bar, which is currently disabled at the moment. Right. At least on that program that I made, on here it's re enabled. So, again, that is where your transition, or your transition, your palettes really come in for color. How do they work for your movements? Well, let's say that you have a spot for a mirror ball, and then you have a show that, you know, the lights move around and it goes right back to the mirror ball. Well, that point where it hits the mirror ball would be a palette. You'll just call it mirror ball. And then, you only have to go into your palettes and you have to move that point so your lights hit that mirror ball and it'll change all your shows that, you know, affect the mirror ball or, you know, involve hitting the mirror ball. So again, a lot of cool things that you can do there. That's one of the steps and this is one of the things that makes this perfect for weddings or stuff where you got to change your colors constantly. My name is Arnaldo Offerman of Master School Dances showing you CompuShow. Real cool feature called palettes. Thank you so much and God bless.